Welcome to Coach David Schumann's Success for Life podcast, where Coach Schumann tackles the important topics and interviews the very best in business, sports, and leadership to help you maximize your success. If you're looking to get the most out of everything you do, then listen now to the Success for Life podcast. It's important to talk yourself through everything every day. Talking yourself through what you need to accomplish each day from the moment you wake up to the moment that you then go to bed in your career, uh, in your job and what you do, talking yourself through the difficult times is a key element to helping you be successful. Now, you've only got a problem if you're answering your own questions out loud, but I think talking yourself through is one of the essential qualities through getting through a morning when you don't feel like doing something being able to do a task that you may not want to do. Even if you love what you do every single day, there are days when you may not feel like doing that and and giving yourself your own pep talk and talking you through that. And there's some key elements to doing that that will make all the difference in your success and failure on each and every day. Uh, Number one, if you're, you know, you're struggling with the fact that you have to go to work or struggling with something that you have to do, whether you love it or not, you should write down immediately what it is that you're frustrated about and address it immediately. By addressing that immediate frustration, the frustration is like an anchor weighing on your mind. And when you have that anchor weighing on your mind, it could really cause problems in accomplishing things that you want to get. So so write down that frustration and then address it immediately. It may be something where from a standpoint you don't feel like doing it or you don't feel like accomplishing that. And I use good examples. Uh, you know, Every morning, five days a week, we have lifts with our football program. And I always tell the kids the same thing. It's, you know, even myself, there are days that when I wake up in the morning at, at 4.45 or 5 a.m. that I don't feel like waking up and going. And then I'm reminded about, I try to remind myself of the, the second most important thing, which is, how you feel when you're with the group and helping them achieve their goals. So having a purpose and a mission for what your overall could be life-wise, could be job-wise, but your your purpose and mission is critical to helping you get through the tough times. So it's important to be able to address your frustrations, number one, what they are and address them. And number two, figure out what your purpose uh, or mission is on, on what you do. And And a purpose really is what gives you that sense of being, well-being, helps you to to understand how you feel about certain things and and helps you then to accomplish those things. That purpose is what drives you every single day. So my purpose, for example, is to, to help others achieve their goals and dreams with respect to the sport of football. And everything that I kind of do is surrounded around that. And that is, you know, from coaching football to running the NFL agency to to running our camps and programs. And even when the tough times and difficulties, when I remind myself of my purpose and my mission, um, that helps me get through those difficult times. And having that clear and concise that's really good. And, you know, sometimes there financially, there's things that are successful and it rides highs and lows. And and one of the things I always tell people about money is you have to have a plan for what you want to do, but there's going to be highs and lows. And, you know, you watch videos online where people talk about only all their successes in business. And I just think it's complete nonsense because most people are trying to achieve profitability where you throw off cash. And, and that's, That's not the high level thing. If you want to have a job where you go and you get paid a salary, that's one thing. But if you want to build a company that throws off profit that you then benefit and your employees benefit from their cash, that's a completely different thing. And that's difficult to achieve. And so understanding your purpose and mission, always addressing your frustrations will help you get to where you want to be from that standpoint. So talking yourself through that and reminding yourself of those things. A pep talk is one of the things I, I like to do is I always like to listen to motivational speakers on YouTube, whether it's someone like Gary Vee, a Grant Cardone, the Tony Robbins, uh, TD Jakes, uh, Joel Osteen. It depends on what my mood is. And I have a, a bunch of go-to guys that I listen to on a regular, regular basis Art Williams, uh, Art Williams is great. So there's so many people that, Brian Tracy, that could really make a difference. And you pull those up on YouTube or if they have a podcast on their podcast, 
And uh, sometimes they say things I agree with, sometimes they don't, but put you in the right mind frame. And that's the third part that's critical, which is your mindset. So talking yourself through your mindset and making you go from a negative to a positive outlook is really important. And everybody has negative thoughts and feelings and trying to transition and get out of your mindset. So one of the things that Tony Robbins always talks about is shocking the system. And that's why he has the dunking tub where he jumps into it, he trampolines. And, you know, I use a trampoline all the time to get the blood flowing. I like to get moving in the morning and get the blood flowing. Sometimes you need to work out in the middle of the day to get the blood flowing. Anything that could change your mindset and your outlook is key. So if you're doing something and your mindset is going in one direction and it's, it's not positive, you've got to stop, halt, and try something different. And by stopping, halt, and trying something different, you'll be able to create an impact that you're looking to create on your own mindset, addressing your frustrations, having your mission, and creating the right mindset is going to be the key. Look forward to talking to you soon. Again, you could always go ahead and like comment. If you enjoy what I'm talking about, this stuff helps you. Please let me know. Uh, Success for Life podcast, Dave Schumann signing off.